Okay, so this is my first go at doing um, balloons on YouTube. This is my balloon pump. I'm just going to, you know, I, I taped it up because it had a crack in it from when my kids uh, busted it. So I'm going to spend uh, quite a few days going over various different balloons because I can make anything out of a balloon. But this is one of my first instructional videos. I've, I've taught many people how to make balloons. So we're going to start off with the regular, uh, I can't even remember the name of it. This, I'm going to make several different types of dogs with various different sized balloons. So when you, when you blow up a balloon, a twisty balloon, what you want to do is you want to, you know, put a little bit on the end of it, about an uh, eighth of an inch on the tip of that. Be, make sure not to pull it out too far or else what will happen is that this will actually separate from this. One time I was teaching somebody how to make balloons and they actually did that. So what you want to do is you want to leave about an inch, 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 about that much on the end of it. And then what you want to do is you want to pinch off a little bit and then so that you have more to tie with. And then use two fingers, wrap it around. And then go underneath and you, you have more area to tie with you always twist from the knotted end so we're going to do a simple dog so here here we have the first twist right about two inches or so that's going to be the head and you have to hold that or else it's going to undo itself so you hold that you do two more hold it bring them together Twist them. Then you have the head and the ears, obviously. And then a neck. Hold it or else it's going to undo itself. A leg. And then bring it over. Twist it. Okay, that was a problem. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get to that point. That was exciting, I know. So uh, it happens sometimes. Certain balloons, actually that balloon I blew up earlier, so that's why that probably happened. If you blow up the same balloon too many times, usually what will happen is that it will pop. So I'm going to get right to that same point we were at just a moment ago. So we have the leg, and we bring it over, we push it, bam. So we have the head, the ears, the neck, the legs. I have to do a body. See, now here you can do it really short and then you can have a really long tail. Or you can do it really long and make it a wiener dog. Or you could just do a normal size. Uh, various different variations as to how you want to make your dog. Okay, so there you go. There's the typical dog. You know, uh, traditional, you know, most girls like the dog, the poodle rather, okay? So this is gonna be one video right here. I've done uh, just a simple dog with the 160 balloon. Uh, my next video will be uh, a different size balloon. Okay, so now on to the next balloon size. Get my trusty little pump here. This is a size 350 balloon. This is kind of tricky um, to do this kind of uh, dog with this, but see, usually w when I do balloons, I um, I usually have just a big old bag of balloons, and then sometimes I run out of my regular 160s, so I have to resort to using my smaller balloons or my uh, thicker 350s. So with this one, you want to leave about three inches or so on the end of it just like the other one you want to you know let out a little bit of air so you have a little more area to tie, tie with and this you're going to do a head about that big do some ears it's just like our um with the other balloon but just a little bit different so because you're dealing with a bigger balloon So this is just like we did with the 160. So the head, the ears, the neck, the legs. 
small body. You usually have to do a small body with this size one. And then another leg about the same size as the front. And then twist it and hope it doesn't pop. Because this is usually where you would have the problem, with, especially with this size one. But there you go, a 350 dog, a 350 size balloon dog. Like I said, I'm gonna be making many video instructional videos um, on how to make all sorts of different animals and characters and <clears throat> everything you can possibly imagine. And I'm gonna be doing face painting tutorials and a handyman tutorials and various probably guitar lessons as well. I uh, just never really got around to doing this and now I am have the inspiration and the time to do it so I might as well. So this is a smaller balloon. Um, I don't remember the name of it but you can actually fit it over this. They actually make another pump that's specifically designed for these. I just usually I'm just too lazy to use that one so I just use this one and you can this one I'm gonna do a poodle so with a poodle with especially with this balloon um, you want to just blow it up just a tad bit if you have too much in the balloon you can always let it out but if you're gonna let it out you need to push it down or else there's an uneven amount of air in the balloon and it becomes a problem when you when you're actually twisting the balloon so I'm going to make a poodle. So with a poodle, the way it works is, so a head, I do three ears right here. And then I do a neck. And then this is where it becomes different um, from, from, the, um, uh, from the dog, from the regular dog because this is a poodle, is you want to do four very small bubbles. And then twist them together. So then you have like little paws. So that's the way it looks right there. And then you want to do a body. I'm going to make mine about two inches or so. And then you want to do four more little puffy paws legs, whatever, because their poodles are decorative looking. Okay, so that's the poodle right there, but this is where I make it more decorative looking. And you can also do this with the other side, the regular balloon as well. I, I'm just showing the smaller balloon because you can do it with the smaller balloon. M almost any character you can make, just depending on what you're going for, you can make it with the smaller balloon. The larger balloons, it's, or the 350s, it's more difficult to do certain uh, animals and characters and whatnot. Because uh, they're only designed for certain things. So right here, what I'm going to do is manipulate this small bubble, manipulate it up. And then what I have, essentially, is a decorative tail. I mean, you could even do uh, other things with it. I mean, you could push more bubble, more air into that if you'd like. Um, do a few other things and you could put eyes on that, you know with with a sharpie or whatever Usually I don't do that when I when I'm doing parties um, unless uh, on on certain animals I do but um, With dogs usually I don't unless the child some girls especially they want the, the eyes so Usually I just do really simple. I, I'm not gonna get my marker out right now, but sometimes you know, just put little eyes with some, with some uh, eyebrows or not eyebrows, eyelashes. That's usually what I would do. Anyway, so this is the, this is my tutorial for for uh, various different balloons. Uh, I'll be back to do some more uh, either today or another day. Uh, so please stick around and check out my other videos. Thank you.